Hello, this is Eddie, and I'm going to show you how to estimate the gamma function on a scientific calculator. This applies to scientific calculators that have the integral function, and by definition, the gamma of any real number t is the integral from 0 to infinity of x to the power of t minus 1 times e to the negative x dx. You notice in the integral the upper limit is infinity. On a scientific calculator we don't have infinity to work with. So what we do is we pick an n here to be the upper limit and the n needs to be high enough so we get a sufficient amount of decimal points. So n could be anywhere from 50, 100 to 250. Now there's a consideration of picking n. You got accuracy versus time. The higher the n you get more accurate answers of course but you also will use more computational time. For example, let's calculate the gamma of 4.2. Now using the definition of the gamma function, we find that the gamma of 4.2 is equal to the integral 0 to infinity x to the 3.2 power times e to the negative x dx. t in this case is 4.2. I'm going to demonstrate this using a Casio FX 115ES Plus. This procedure will also apply to the Sharp EL516X and the TI36X Pro as well as the 115ES from Casio. Any calculator that has the integral function will work. This will work at. So I'm going to turn my calculator on and you need to be in regular mode or computational mode. You don't have to worry about that with the TI but in Casio and Sharp you do. So I'm just going to enter my integral. Now we don't have infinity to work with so we're going to enter our upper limit instead. We're going for an approximation here, so I hit the integral button. You notice on all the scientific solar calculators, the integration function, f is always going to be in terms of x. So I'm going to enter my function, alpha x. Uh, we want 3.2. My lower limit is going to remain 0, and I'm going to enter 100 as my upper limit. 100 should be an efficient upper limit if for 4 to 5 decimal points. And I hit the equal sign. You can't see it on here, but I've hit the equal sign. The calculations take about a minute to complete. It's about a minute later and the calculator has finished completing the gamma function, a gamma approximation of 4.2. Remember in the definition, gamma of t, you want x to be to the power of t minus 1. So I get an answer of 7.7566895 7 What I found was that is pretty accurate. Almost full accuracy as far as calculator displays go. The Casio has 10 digits and you get an 8 digit accuracy for this for n is equal to 100. If you go up to 250, same thing. It takes maybe about 10 more seconds to calculate the integral with 250. So if you, if you set n to be about 100, you should be good to get 4 or 5 decimal places. Above here is the actual answer uh, of gamma of 4.2.
uh, 7.75668-9535. And I think you're going to find this with pattern with most scientific calculators. Just to give you another example, uh, gamma of 7.4, um, you'll see is the integral from 0 to infinity of x to the power of 6.4 times e to the negative x dx, and I get 1541.336191. And I tested this again on the Casio. Let me, I can demonstrate that real quick. I'll just recall the equation real fast. Again, this works with also uh, your TI and your Sharp as well. And again, the calculation will take about a minute. It is about one minute later, and the calculator has returned an answer of 1541.336192, which pretty much matches the actual answer. Thank you very much.